Marcy went from Think Premium JA sharing a quick word with you. I actually found this really interesting scripture in the book, in the book of Judges, right? Now, I don't know about you, but you know, ever since I really started walking with God, I've kind of found certain verses like this in the Bible way more interesting. So bear with me here. It's a little bit of a longer read, but bear with me. You might like it. It's a really important business lesson behind it. Now, Samson said to them, and this is coming from Judges chapter 14, verses 12 to verses 12 to 19. Yeah. So Judges chapter 12, Judges chapter 14, verses 12 to 19, and we are reading from the Good News Bible. Samson said to them, Let me ask you a riddle. I'll bet each one of you a piece of fine linen, uh, linen <laughs> and a change of fine clothes that you can't tell me its meaning before the seven days of the wedding feast are over. Tell us your riddle, they said. Let's hear it. He said, out of the eater came something sweet, out of the strong, uh, out of the eater came something to eat, out of the strong came something sweet. Three days later, they still hadn't solved the riddle. On the fourth day, they said to Samson's wife, and this, his wife is Timna, right? He was the one that, yeah, Timna was the wife that he rushed off and married, despite his parents telling him to slow down. So they said to Samson's wife, Timna, of course, trick your husband into telling us what the riddle means. If you don't, we'll set fire to your father's house and burn you with it. You two invited us so that we... So that you could rob us, didn't you? So, again, they're, reach, they're, they're pretty much batting up Samson's wife. Long story short. So, Samson's wife went to him in tears and said, You don't love me. You just hate me. You asked my friends a riddle and didn't tell me what it means. He said, Look, I haven't told my father or my mother. Why should I tell you? She cried about it for all seven days. The whole seven days she cried. Right? Yeah, man. So she cried about it the whole seven days of the feast, but on the seventh day, he told her what the riddle meant, for she nagged him about it so much. Then she told the Philistines. On the seventh day, before Samson went into the bedroom, the men of the city said to him, What could be sweeter than honey? What could be stronger than a lion? Samson replied, If you hadn't been playing away with my, with my cow, because I don't know if I can say the... The King James, <laughs> the King James translation here. Yes, if you hadn't been playing away with my cow, you would know the answer now. Some of the, the the power of the Lord made him strong, and he went down to Ashkelon, where he killed thirty men, stripped them, and gave their fine clothes to the men who had solved the riddle. After that, he went back home, furious about what happened. Oh, and of course. Verse 20, his wife had been given to the man that was the best man at his wedding. You have to drop that line into it just to make the deception sweet. <laughs> now, here's a business lesson. How many of us as entrepreneurs got into some business transaction with someone just way too quickly? Like you was desperate. You, you know how it is. The bills are due. The money's few. You know, you see the right opportunity. The, the right moments. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I was actually reading for my Bible. So if you see the screen moving, yeah, you know what it is, right? And of course, you get pulled into a transaction with someone who pretty much will betray. It, 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 it just needed to be the right moment. They were into you just enough to get what they needed. And as soon as you gave them what they needed, they betrayed you. Raise your hands if this is you. That has happened. Many times. What I will say is... Sometimes it pays to slow down. Does being slow mean that you might miss a couple bill payments? Does slowing down mean that you might miss an opportunity that sounds really good at the time? Does slowing down mean that that person that you are telling that you're not ready, it might nag you, just like Timna did, until you relent, and you just can't take it anymore. And coupled with that, 
all of the people you owe money to are nagging you too. And you need the money. And you just want to be done with everything. These things do happen. But there's also another verse in the Bible that I have learned to appreciate. And that's Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. And it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto your, thy own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. There were many times in which Samson's parents were saying to Samson, Hey, okay, so you like this lady you want to marry, Timna? Let's slow down a bit just to make sure this is the right person. He was the one that hasted. Samson was hastily trying to get married for whatever reason because he saw this lady, he liked her, and, you know, he, he envisioned the whole wedding before even probably knowing the lady's name properly, but you know how it is. And he made a big business mistake and he got, he got betrayed. He got played by his wife. And these things do happen because guess what? In order for betrayal to happen, a person has to be close. It is what it is. I mean, Jesus was betrayed by Judas with a kiss. The disrespect. So, an important lesson to note here. I mean, even if things are not great financially, even if you want to do something you want to try something and you have the perfect opportunity never forget to slow down and just invite god in. yeah you might miss out on the opportunity but you might save yourself a potentially embarrassing situation that might make you angry and you might lose in the end because guess what samson still had to deal with the fact that his best man at his wedding now had his wife so guess what? The persons who got one on him for winning the riddle weren't the only ones plowing his coat to. So it was still a loss all around. So just bear that important lesson in mind. And I hope this helps. All right. So again, just be careful who you go into business transactions with. Always invite the Lord in. And if it means that you have to pause a bit before you make a decision and talk to God about it in prayer, you do that because you just never know. You just never know. Anyway, hope this helps. And if it did, I want you to comment down below. And I want you to say, I will slow down and ask God. Yeah. I will slow down and ask God. Remember, you know, haste makes waste. I will slow down and ask God. I want you to just type that in on the chat real quick. I will slow down and ask God. And here's another funny one that I actually um, found recently as well. Like very, very recently, just to back that up. It's Proverbs 19, verse 2 to 11. Enthu and this is from the New Living Translation. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at God. At the Lord, sorry. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them all away. And that's Proverbs 19, verse 2 to 11. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Take care. And remember to never stop dreaming. Bye-bye.